aim of this beat is to continually every week find a way to just be better and better against offenses that provide different challenges and you know, score a lot or you know, things like that. Uh, it's just really fun. Like, we have a lot of people on our team that are confident in what they do. When you're confident, you want to rise to the occasion, you want to accept challenges. So just going in with that mindset is just really fun because you know the next person beside you is going to play just as hard as you are. When do I have to settle down and maybe make some adjustments with Sharp to make him not score two quick ones and then you shut him out? Uh, it's just knowing that like we knew they were going to come out, we knew they were going to give us a bunch of funky formations, they were going to give us a lot of crazy things up front, and we just knew that if we could just make it through and see everything that they have new for us and just make it to the back end, we could fight and we can get that win. Is it easy to just, to like once you settle down and you're, you're looking at what they're doing to make those adjustments and, and they don't really, I guess they didn't make any adjustments to counter that, did they? Uh, I mean, I can't really tell you what they did. I just really focus on the defense side of the ball. I can just tell you what we did. And uh, I just know that we, this year especially, have done a great job of sideline communication. That's something we really harped on. So it's just coming back to the sideline, giving the communication communication to the coach. We even got players out there that's just, their assignment is to watch this one person. So it just comes to the sideline, getting that information. We're all able to rally and make these adjustments. Lucky 141 yards tonight, touchdown, and 3 one to tie. Just how fun was that game for you tonight? Kind of, you know, step up, have your best game of the year so far. A uh, long time coming. Uh, no, it's always uh, it's always fun getting that win uh, and playing big in a win. So, I mean, any way I can contribute to the win, I'm always hoping to do that. Lucky, did it feel good that you guys were finally able to connect on some of those trick plays? Uh, yeah, for sure. And I still feel like there's so much more out there for our offense. We're just now touching the surface. So uh, we got big things in store. Uh, we'll see the film tomorrow and make the corrections and, and learn from them. What was your thoughts throwing that touchdown pass? I mean, what, what, were your, what was going through your mind knowing that this play was called for you to throw it to Ty? Uh, first, don't mess it up. Uh, but no, <laughs> second, uh, this year training takes care of uh, Saturday. So I mean, if you work hard throughout the week and and come in, come to work every day, uh, Saturday is supposed to be easy for you. You just rely on your instincts and rely on, and rely on your training. Tyson said that he wasn't surprised that you guys are in the situation that you're in with you know, being a win away from El from Bowler on the early to being undefeated in the conference. But what if I would have told you that anybody would have told you that at the beginning of the season, that's where you guys would be standing right now? Oh, we would have completely believed it. Just because we know how hard we work. Uh, we come in every day. Uh, it's a grind, and Coach preaches that to us. Uh, we we got to put it in. Uh, we got to put you, – you get out what you put in. So, I mean, we, we continue to work. Uh, we we – Defense makes us better. We make the defense better. So it kind of flows like that. Kyle, uh, Roger Craig got that pass interference call call and a little bit controversial. But then he came back on that next play and got the interception. I mean, what does that say about this defense that you guys are able to respond in a positive way like that? It just says a lot because, I mean, everybody knows that you're going to face some type of adversity when you step on that football field. And it's all about how you respond. You come back with a good attitude, good things can happen. You come back with a bad one, we can watch you give up a game that easily. Kyle, it seems like each week it's a new statement win for the defense. I mean, last week it's Army grinding out that one. Now a high-flying offense with Charlotte coming in and y'all holding 14 points. What's it like being a part of a defense that just consistently turns out results like that? Uh, it's fun. It's just you know you're going to go out there and you know everyone knows their assignment. They know their job. They're going to do it to the best of their ability. But more than anything, it's just going out there and knowing that if we get the football back to the offense, that they're going to strain and they're going to do the best thing they can to put up points, and they're going to put us in better situations. Because that's just all it is with football. You go back and forth, defense, O, and special teams, all has to come into one. You all have to be a unit. Lucky, how is Ty <coughs> better at managing this offense where it seems like each week those numbers just get a little better, the, the errors get tighter, and it just seems like things are functioning pretty well? Uh, it comes with reps, uh, being comfortable. So I feel like that's the main thing. He's He's been in there three or four games, so I mean, he's he's comfortable. He's played in big games, things like that. So I feel like he's he's learning as we are each game. We come in, watch the film. Uh, he's learning throughout the week, making the adjustments. He's just being a vet uh, about his business. There's just no penalties by the offense. I mean, just three overall for the team in the last two games. Do you feel like, I guess for both of you, that things are playing pretty pretty tight and that you guys are playing pretty good to stay free football for now? Yeah, it just shows that we're playing discipline. Uh, we're trained well, so with the proper technique and things like that. So when you, when you have those two going hand in hand, uh, there's not really much room for error, things like that. So we try to clean that up, and that comes with watching film, uh, just kind of seeing what you did wrong, th places you could be better, and things in that sense. Thanks, guys.
Thank you.